the story of Independence Day. Let's check this out. Namaste, Mera Channel Thinking Nash, May Apka Soayet Hey, Mera Nam Nash Hey. I'm from Mexico. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Thinking Nash. Hopefully you are enjoying the channel as much as I am enjoying making these videos for you. Like, you know, mi casa, no, mi casa is tu casa. So hopefully like you feel like in home. If it's like that, you can subscribe here and as well you can follow me in my Instagram, Thinking Don't Nash. Uh, today, guys, congrats, happy, happy birthday, country. Like it's your Independence Day, so that's wonderful. Actually, in one month, the 15th of, of September as well, is Mexican Independence Day. So actually, it's one month there. Uh, but congratulations, you have been now official like an independent country for I think so, 74 years. I'm not sure about this. I think so it is. But congratulations, guys! You must be extremely, extremely proud. But and I wanted to, I wanted to make a video about the story of the Independence Day because I'm sure that it's extremely interested. I don't know like too much about uh, the Independence Day, just some little details that uh, they teach in school. But I would love to know more and more about your country, like you know. So I figured out that was a perfect day to make the story of the Independence Day. So let's check this video, and then we talk about this. We made a twist with destiny. And now that time comes when we shall redeem our pledge. Not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. 15th August, 1947. Midnight. India awakes to a new life of freedom. But two centuries of colonial rule had decayed India from within, leaving the country ridden with poverty and hunger. Our founding fathers set out to wipe every tear from every eye. They needed a pole star, that single focal point to make India modern and progressive. Something that captured the uniqueness of the chaotic but eternally hopeful nation. A bright light to illuminate the dark storm lashing the horizon of the future. The 1920s was an uncertain period for the Indian national movement. And then came the Chauri Chaura incident. Mahatma had suspended the non-cooperation movement. 3rd February 1928, the Simon Commission arrives to review the Act of 1919 and was met with widespread protests as it had no Indian representation. The British, in their arrogance, proclaimed that Indians were incapable of self-rule and deciding for themselves. Lord Birkenhead, the Secretary of State in response to the Indians' reactions, laid down a challenge at the House of Lords. The Founding Fathers rose to the occasion. An all-party conference was convened in February and May 1928. Led by Nehru, the committee drafted the Nehru Report in September 1929, demanding self-government under dominion status within the empire. But Kaide Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, rejected the report, stating that from then on, Hindu and Muslim paths were different. He further countered the report with his infamous 14 points in March 1929. Meanwhile, the annual session of the INC was held in Lahore in 1929 under the presidency of Jawaharlal Nehru. They voted for the historic resolution of complete independence and declared the last Sunday of January 1930 as Independence Day. The resolution gave the British Parliament the ultimatum that if they accepted the report by 31st December 1929, Congress would adopt it as it is. If not, they would insist on complete independence. December 31st, 1929, the INC stalwarts gather around the River Ravi. The British have paid no heed to the ultimatum and thus, the Swaraj flag is proudly unfurled. The freedom fighters were prepared for the fight. It was an event so monumental, it would change the course of history itself. Elections were held in 1937. INC came into power and formed ministries in almost all provinces. For the first time under British rule, Indians could become directly associated with the government. The dream of Indians holding the power of the government and serving the masses had become a reality. But the cheer didn't last long. World War II was initiated. Congress ministries resigned in 1939, protesting Lindit Goh's decision to involve India in the war without consulting the Indians. Multiple attempts of involving India in World War II failed. With its end, the decline of the British Empire became inevitable. 
Mutiny amongst the naval rankings in the Air Force was the final nail in the coffin. The cabinet mission plan arrived in 1946 to try and reach a settlement acceptable to all major stakeholders. The plan became the foundation for the establishment of the Constituent Assembly. For a total of two years, 11 months and 18 days, over 11 sessions and sitting for 166 days, the Assembly debated and discussed the various challenges facing the new nation. The ideas of liberty, equality, fraternity and justice were embedded deep into our constitution. On 26 January 1950, the constitution was enforced in its entirety. It is the foundation of free India which we have become so accustomed to. It is our duty as citizens to know it, understand it, nurture it and defend it. It is our duty to remember so that we can build the India of our dreams. Guys, really, it was very, very interesting. Like, was uh, a lot of things that I didn't uh, like know about how was your independence. I remember when I was in the school that the, the way that they were t uh, telling us about Indian independence was that it was on, uh, one of the few or only countries that uh, got their independence uh, in peace without needing a war, uh, needing people die. Of course, like maybe after what it happened, like a lot of people die. But that was the way that was teaching in the schools. Uh, look how Indians did it. Like they, they managed to do it uh, thanks to Gandhi to give, uh, give the independence uh, by peace. And I remember that was something that I was very stuck in my head. Just how cool was that a person or like a amount of person just because being together, being like this uh, against the enemy, basically, it, it worked and made them not to need a war that is actually that's something really really hard because at the end of the day a lot of people just die in wars and it's something that uh, if you you were able to avoid that's something that has to be as well super super proud as well was a lot of years of negotiations i i'm i'm, I'm sure was a lot of years of the people that live in that time i i'm sure that they were like suffering that they were like having problems with but at the end of the day like you are now like you are an independent country you are 73 years of independence so that's really really amazing and something to celebrate this day for you guys and as well something that you like i am very curious about that i have noticed with the few things that i have been knowing more and more about india is that you don't have too much british influence the way that, for example, uh, Spanish uh, conquered uh, Mexicans. So they, they took all the, the in that native's religion, they took like everything, even their names, and they changed everything to the Spanish way. Like it changed a lot. And actually a Spanish came, settled here, and they started mixing with Mexicans, that it becomes a new race, for say it in uh, one way. Uh, and we have a lot of the ways that we, like the hours that we eat, like some things that we eat and all that, it comes from Spain that teaches and bring a lot of the food and all that. But I think so, something that is very cool, and I have noticed, maybe I'm wrong, that India keep their essence. They, uh, although uh, British were there for maybe 200 years, 100 years, uh, like for a very, very long time period, like you keep your essence as a country, you keep your customs, your traditions, and I think so that's something as well super, very super amazing to have like a country you still have your own identity no like if you see the their the native uh, traditions from mexico was completely eradicated and we just they were just brought what the spanish uh, teach to the people but in your case was completely different so that's something really as well to be proud that you keep that essence that define you as a country that you keep the peace that you keep uh, a, a wonderful country together because it's super huge and you had a lot to celebrate guys so happy independence day hopefully you have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow with a new video big kiss for you and happy birthday